Well, a local teacher is taking a different approach to helping kids break the cycle of violence. News 4's Mark Seagrave shows us how a drama teacher and her students are hoping a play will help save lives. This kid's been on me, freaking killing me, killing me, Ria. This scene is from the play Prospect High, Brooklyn. Students at Cardoza High in Northwest DC are producing it. Alex De Leon plays the lead character, a high school student facing many of the modern day struggles of young people everywhere, like bullying. Bullying, you act so ignorant. Andy, I couldn't deal with those people today. Why don't you get that? Andy, come on. When I was uh, talking with my drama teacher about the project, something that get in my head was how this this character, Nick Devin, is have a lot of problems with bullying and something that usually you don't see that people talk about. In one scene, the main character shows his friend a gun in his backpack and tells her he plans to shoot okay. another student. Whoa, whoa. I'm taking care of ice. No. Originally from El Salvador, De Leon has only been in the United States a few years. When I first get to the country, I was afraid a lot for gun violence. For me, it's like, we have to do something about it. Like, honestly. We need to get these guns off the street. Katie Schneeman is the drama director at Cardoza. Last year, she got a grant from the D.C. government to create a theater group aimed at social justice. Now she's brought that same idea to D.C. public schools. The kids are not okay right now, and theater helps with giving them a reason to come to school. It helps them mentally have something to hope for and work for and be part of something. Sheenman believes in giving young people an outlet other than violence. Really what we need to do is listen to kids, ask what they need, and give them space to express themselves. And that's what theater does. I hope that my, my fellow students feel the same about how can we make this, the schools better for students. At Cardoza High School in Northwest DC, Mark Seagraves, News 4.